Let's get reaction and analysis from Ryan Fresky. He's in Paris and he's a jurist and researcher at CAGE, an advocacy organization. Ryan, thanks so much for your time and joining us on the news hour. Thank as tragic as this young man's death is, did it come at all as a surprise to you, the level of violence here being used by the French police? Because there have been ongoing tensions between some French citizens and police for a long time now. Exactly, exactly. Unfortunately, I wasn't surprised at all as police brutality in France is the norm. And it has been the norm in the last 40 years, unfortunately, we've witnessed countless of those murders. And I do believe that police brutality, the way they treat young Arabs, young Blacks, young Muslims, is a direct consequence of the French state of Islamophobia, of the French state official racism. Um, I do believe it's a, a rotten fruit, one of the rotten fruits of the French colonial rule. In other words, Arab lives, black lives, Muslim lives do not matter in France. Uh, just to give you a quick stat, imagine that in the last year or so, each and every month, one man lost his life at the end of the police. I think it speaks for itself. Yes, last year alone, there were 13 deaths from police shootings in France during traffic stops alone, the vast majority being men of African and Arab descent. You spoke there about the complicity of the French government. The French president has said this young man's death is unforgivable. But how much has Emmanuel Macron's government really contributed uh, to the, the systems and the powers given to police to make things like this happen? Yeah, his stance is very clearly hypocritical as he embraced, he encouraged Islamophobia and racism, and more specifically, Islamophobic and racist policies, basically since 2017 when he came to power. And when one embraces Islamophobia and racism, he, of course, emboldens and encourages the police to act brutally, to act violently against Arabs, Blacks, and Muslims in, uh, in general. Mm -hmm. So I do believe that his narrative, but also his policies, are obviously one of the key reasons why these horrendous murders occurred. It's important to realize that the young Nahel was uh, killed yesterday on the Arafat day, on the eve of Eid al Hada, which is the mm -hmm. most important religious celebration for Muslims. Ryan, what then is the way forward? Because it's clear that the situation can't continue like that, uh, or like this rather. France is, of course, home uh, to, I think, I believe the highest Muslim population in Europe. People who may consider themselves Muslim, but also French. And it's a place where you have to live alongside everyone else, alongside the police. So how do you move forward? True, 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 true. It's important to realize that the issue, the problem we're facing is systemic. These events are not uh, events of marginal significance. They are the consequence of Islamophobic racism, as I said, and as they are the consequence of a system which is by nature Islamophobic and racism uh, and racist. It is the consequence of a culture which does not regard uh, Muslim lives as being properly valuable, basically. And uh, as long as we do not tackle these issues systemically, we will still witness these kind of horrendous murders. I strongly believe that the first step is to, of course, abolish the police as it is designed today and abolish the pieces of legislation which render possible these kind of violent acts. It's essential to realize that Islamophobic and racist policies, Islamophobic and racist pieces of legislation in France are not, of course, designed to seek accountability. They are designed to protect police immunity in these cases. So I strongly believe that, first of all, the courts cannot render proper justice. We do need a proper political movement, and we need to make sure that on the international stage, 
these kind of events are covered properly through the proper frame. These are murders, and these murders are Islamophobic and racist, and they are encouraged mm -hmm. by the government. Ryan Fresky, really appreciate your analysis live to us there from the French capital. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you.